YouTube, what's up, man? This is Weekend League Gameplay. Um, I'm in the middle of it right now. I'm playing on two accounts. Get done 50 games per weekend. So if you haven't watched any of these games live, hit that link below. Hop in the chat. Say you found me from YouTube. I appreciate it, man. So we have a lot of fun. We have a good time. And we play some Madden. Hopefully you can learn a thing or two. Now, this is an idea I have for all my gameplays. There was one key to this game, and, and it's, it's one of the rules I have defensively. I'm going to play against Split Close. Now, Split Close... Uh, is a popular formation, especially in the beginning of the year, throughout the year, uh, for a couple reasons. One, uh, it's easy to protect, and two, you if you're playing against big pass defenses like Big Dime or Nickel or Dollar, you can audible down and run dives, and that's what a lot of people like to do. Uh, so for me, uh, it's a defense you have to be comfortable defending because you're going to see it a lot, or it's an offense you have to be comfortable defending because you have to see it a lot. Now, I have one rule. No matter what defense you run, I would love to run one four six because it's the best pass defense. But if I got to run goal line to stop the run, if I have to run nickel to stop the run, if I have to run 3-4 to stop the run, I have one rule. Now, before I tell you this rule, I want to make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe because I think this adding this little practice mode, adding these little tips to my gameplay is going to help that much more. Let me know if you think it's a good idea in the comments section. Also, take the time to follow these social medias. I appreciate all your support. So let's get into what I do, what my main rule against split close is. Now, this is my main rule uh, as we go. We're here. This is the, um, it doesn't matter what defense. Defense is irrelevant, um, but I have one rule, and you're going to see it in this game happen all the time. And when you're watching this game play, I want you to literally watch this guy's receiver over here on the left. The main play they want to run in split close is a PAY shot where there's two crossing routes. What I like to do is man up the solo receiver X. Man up, press him at the line of scrimmage. It's going to mess up all the timing for your opponent. That's pretty much the biggest uh, advice I can give you. If you have to face split close, if you have to uh, play against it, no matter what defense you're comfortable running, I want you to go ahead and man up that solo guy and press him. Because what that's going to do, it's going to mess up their timing. It's going to mess up the depth of their route. And what happens is they're so used to being able to throw that ball over cloud flats, over soft squats, that they're going to throw it anyway, and they're going to get interceptions. Now, you man up that guy, press him at the line. Who was ever coming back across the field, that's your guy to pick up. So if you add that to your game, it's going to help you. And go ahead and watch how I use this defense in this gameplay. All right, so we're going to start every game against split close we're going to start in 146 because i feel like it's impossible to pass out of one out of split close against 146 so if you can stop the run in it you'll be doing even better than 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 anybody else defensively so for me i start out 146 you see every time he's just going to audible down and take what's there in the run now i'm not getting killed by it but i just feel like eventually he's going to pop one and uh you know but like i said it's the first drive of the game fill it out fill out how my defense is playing see if I can stop the run uh, out of one four six, but he's going to stick to it. He's going to stay in it. He's going to take his four or five yards. And what this tells me is he doesn't want to pass. You know, he wants to run. That's why these kids run split close because you can, you are all able to audible down against one four six. So he's not comfortable passing against one four six. That's pretty much what you can learn by he's run uh, what six straight plays. But that's what I mean. If you see the X receiver just getting just absolutely pressed into the dirt, but the playmaker is the the wrench in my plans so far early in this game right there got to a big third down uh got intentional grinding there but he hit me with a playmaker now playmaker is going to be pretty much the only dot that i have to worry about this game uh now i i would be cool if they took playmaker out of the game i hate it i feel like it's a bailout for people that have not put a good enough route combination on the field to beat the defense you know it's like a last ditch effort oh oh i'm bagged let me play make them left and right and throw the ball so for me i don't like it third and 12 we're gonna go here and press that watch the left receiver get off the line uh but he actually runs a play actually a streak there's nowhere to go absolutely bagged and that's what i mean the playmaker it's just when you're lurking it's not in your mind to run and guard the playmaker uh, but once the game goes on, you have to then adapt. And this is what I mean about being able to adapt throughout a game. Okay, we notice if, if there's somebody you're covering, just be ready for the playmaker. And what he's got to be ready for is Moss because we're going for it first play weekend league. This is why they, they watch Moss, put your nuts on everybody, but they don't let Moss work. The Moss just doesn't work for good players. I mean, if, if Johnny Raincoat threw it, he's Moss in my whole team. But that guy... I can't get it done, so I pretty much turn the ball over. I'm pretty much down two scores because he's in field goal range already. 
Runs a little inside zone with uh, Walter Payton. Again, Walter Payton is pretty much a golden ticket at this point. If you don't have him, he's a great running back to pick up. He's probably super cheap right now. Throws in the flats over there to Garrison Hurst. Don't see that card too often, but he gets a nice little gain right there. Look at that receiver on the left getting bumped, but he throws back all the way across to the other receiver. Now, I... I don't know. I just sometimes when I when the quarterback rolls out, I'll go with the quarterback with my user, and he was able to throw all the way back across the field. Uh, terrific throw, good find. Uh, seems like that's his play. You know that that's his money play is that play action play with the slant. I'm bagging it. I just have to worry about playmaker. That's all. That's going to come down to how my defense plays the rest of the game. Corner route, Calvin Johnson, no abilities. He's not going to come up with that type of catch. Uh, next play, we got a third and six. We're going to run a little dagger right here. Uh, we're going to just come back to the ball a little bit too much right there. I kind of messed that up myself. Fourth and six, he's actually going to guard the corner out himself, leaving this nice little poke over the middle over there to Randy Moss on the post route. Now, because I do that little dot, he's going to be forced to guard the middle of the field, and I'm able to hit the corner route. But, you know, I'll hit a lineman in the head first. But second and ten, we're going to go back to the same look. Absolutely easy. Randy Moss right there. Boom. He has Ronnie Lott. Probably universal, everything, nothing stops that, and nothing stops this post route. If you bring that big body Moss, just to, you just click on the receiver, bring him back two steps, shield off the defender, touchdown, 14-7, to man. Uh, as much as we feel your stick is not involved, in, man, I feel like user is so important this year. And from tackling, from running, to pocket presence, but especially clicking on your receivers and getting, making sure you have the best animation possible. I, I compare it kind of to a receiver high-pointing a ball. Go get it as best possible area, and, and that's what I did right there with Randy Moss. Um, once again, we'll press, press that receiver. Look at the receiver on the left, just getting pressed to hell. Playmaker, I'm ready for it, though. Brian Dawkins all over it. Should have been a pick, but we'll knock the ball away. Once again, look at that receiver on the right. Just just nowhere to throw to him, but that playmaker still killing me. I'm going to start putting a linebacker on this receiver because this is his entire offense. Right here, he actually throws the post route, but I promise if that's a corner and a cover two, I think he picks that off. Now, for me, I, that was probably the last time I ran cover three just for that reason. I don't want him to be able to throw that ball again uh, over my linebacker. So I'm going to put a corner out there. Just another, another dive right there. Calvin Johnson blessing the running back. Get to a third down. We're going to press that left receiver. We're going to man up uh, the playmaker guy. Play I'm ready for it, though. Calvin Megatron Johnson, if you don't have him on your team, you are lacking. Pick him up. Sell whoever you have. Pick him up. Huge play right there. Making the pick because I was ready for the playmaker with Calvin Johnson. 6'5", acrobat, lurker, everything. So instead of being down 10, we're only down 7. Uh, this is the end of the first half. Uh, just trying to get what I can. Maybe get in field goal range. You know we had that 99 kick power. So if we get anywhere near midfield, and I think I can do this on this play. Watch the crossing route, man. It's going to break open, but I get shedded right there. Boom. I could have got out of bounds at like the 45. Maybe had a long field goal to go for. This is the last play of the first half. Just trying to get something. Too many people there. Three deep. Good call. So we're in the second half. We're down by seven. We spotted this guy 14 points. Uh, will I be able to come back? That's it's, it's fun. I feel like Madden is so much fun when you're fighting, uh, when you got to try to just come from behind. Right there, boom. Julio Jones, back-to-back -back plays to Julio Jones. Now he is blinking. He is double me territory. Well, next play, we're going to take off with Michael Vick. Go ahead and get a couple yards. I'm kind of afraid of that guy, Taylor Mays. He's a little bit different, that man, Taylor Mays. But this is one of my best drives of the day. I want to take what we have. No pressure. He has all his abilities on coverage, guys. No pass rush chems. I feel like you always need one pass rush chem. Just at least one get out there uh, that can stop the run and the pass. 30 inches. We're going to do this little hitch over here to Tyreek Hill. Just got in the game. I guess my players were tired. Blast. We're, this is the best thing about Blast. It's just short yardage, man. It's, I really don't think it's an offense to run up and down the field. But short yardage, getting close inside the five, it's the best thing in the game. We're going to run a little dive to the left side because Michael Vick is left-handed. Tie the game up. Walter Payton, boom. Just like that, we're tied. Just keep keep playing this defense. Guard the playmaker. Guard the playmaker. That's the key to the game. Once again, absolutely bagged that left. He has no way to throw that left receiver, uh, that receiver going left to right. He, I'm telling you, this the most important thing you can do against split close is press, knock off the timing of the solo receiver. Now, I, I believe this team... I play on two accounts, and this is my buddy's Buster Harley's account. I believe I have Marlon Humphrey right there. It's There's so many good corners now. You can put anybody out there and just press the hell out of them. 
right here we're going to go ahead have the opportunity third and 21 we're going to have the opportunity i just showed it to come out in 146 because it's a passing down he's not going to audible down and run for four yards on third and 21 we can come out in 146 and absolutely annihilate him make him punt the ball 14 to 14 i've come back tied the game let's put one more good drive together and take the lead and this game's ours because i like i said if he can't run i feel really good against uh, about my pass defense Take what's there for me. I have double me. I notice he's take. He's doubling him. Try to hit the zig route. He guards it over there so we can hit the crossing route. Boom. Right there. Who's that? Randy Moss. Randy Moss and what? That's a Randy Moss, Julio Jones, and Calvin Johnson. Those are my three as I run right here just to take it to the fourth. Put your fours up. Another little read option. Patrick Willis. I, I'm a little bit afraid of him, so I kind of shied away from, <laughs> from trying to bop him right there. Next play. Going to go with a corner route. Watch this user. bring Just bring that receiver back. Shield off the DB who got a pick animation behind you. Get it to the one. Blast that ass for a touchdown. We are up 21-14 to 14, just like that. Boom. Just, I'm telling you, if you can. And it, now he has completely abandoned split close. Uh, he's gone to the U-trip, something that Decroft uh, ran a lot in the LCQ. Um, just hit sticking right there. Now, I'm telling you, he's completely lost. Can't audible down, can't run dive, and he can't run split close. Uh, I'm telling you, if you add that little that little tidbit to your defense, it's going to make you such a better player uh, defensively right there. Going to get this pick right here with Marlon. Oh, no. Julio Jones, Juli Manduli, one-hand catch over my man Marlon Humphrey. Uh, I need to go ahead and make that change. I need to get Pat Pete out there or at least uh, Jalen Ramsey. Uh, Pat Pete is on my right side on his team as we get another sack. I feel like I sacked this guy 14 times. Third and 17, make it 15. And you know what that's going to do? That's going to make the ball game because he fell to the flow and he don't want no more. GG's in the chat. And I'll tell you, if you add this simple, simple defensive adjustment when you play against split close, it's going to make you such a better player, man. Man up that solo receiver. Put your hands on him. No, Listen. Everybody's fast, but it's it's tougher to be fast when you got hands on you. That that's one of the, like the first rules of football that you get taught, man. Nobody's that fast when there's hands on them. Press that receiver at the line. It's going to mess up his timing. It's going to mess up uh, the depth of the route, and it's going to give you mad turnovers against split close. If you like this video, if you like this idea for my gameplays, man, please hit that like button and subscribe, man. I appreciate all y'all support.